in your role do you ever need to motivate inspire and persuade others whether you are senior executive giving a presentation to the board or manager giving a moral boosting speech to your team or a production manager giving a presentation on safety standard at some point you will probably have to move people to action it may not seem like that but we spend much of our time at work trying to convince other people to think or act in a specific way while there are certainly those who seems to inspire and deliver memorable speeches effortlessly the rest of us can learn how to give effective presentation and persuade people for action in this video i will talk about key factors you need to put together for a clear and engaging call to action using five step process known as a monro motivated sequence or persuasive communication let's get started step 1 get attention get the attention of your audience use storytelling humor or shocking statistic or a rhetorical question anything that will get the audience to sit up and take notice step 2 establish the need convince your audience there is a problem this set of statement must help the audience realize the what's happening right now isn't good enough and need to change highlight key facts about why the status quo is untenable and change is needed in this step you can make your compelling argument use statistic to back up your statement talk about the consequences of maintaining the status quo and not making changes show your audience how the problem directly affects them in this step you can also talk about example and illustration and what was the consequences of that practice so in this phase you are basically talking about purpose and you are talking about where you are aiming step 3 satisfy the need introduce your solution how will you solve the problem that your audience is now ready to address this is the main part of your presentation or whatever the communication you are using for it will vary significantly depending on your purpose in this section you need to discuss the fact elaborate and give details to make sure the audience understand your position and solution clearly state what you want the audience to do or believe summarize your information from time to time as you speak use example testimonial and statistic to prove the effectiveness of your solution prepare counter argument to anticipate objection so in this step we basically talk about people who will be benefit articulate how this idea will improve people's work lives even if it in a small way step 4 visualize the future in this step you can describe what the situation will look like if the audience does nothing the more realistic and detailed the vision the better it will create the desire to do what you recommended your goal is to motivate the audience to agree with you and adopt similar behaviors attitude and beliefs help them see what the result could be if they act the way you want them to make sure your vision is believable and realistic you can use three methods to help the audience share your vision number 1 positive method describe what the situation will look like if your ideas are adopted emphasize the positive aspects number 2 negative method describe what the situation will look like if your ideas are rejected focus on the danger and difficulties caused by not acting and another method is contrast develop the negative picture first and then reveal what could happen if your ideas are accepted in this step it will basically focus for the process it will talk about how we will get there explain the next step needed to move forward final step or step 5 call for action your final job is to leave your audience with specific things that they can do to solve the problem 
you want them to take action now don't overwhelm them with too much information or too many expectations and be sure to give them option to increase their sense of ownership of the solution this can be as simple as inviting them to have some refreshment as you walk around the answer question for every complex problem the action step might be getting together again to review the plans in this call for action step you can invite people to put their voluntary report their concern their question and their ideas i would recommend it you to call people to join into the meeting or after the lunch or whatever the time you think best suit to you as long as you have plan your persuasion speech your persuasion method or persuasion steps determine how to present it choose an approach or combination of approaches that will work best with your audience and briefly describe your game plan you can use your one to one conversation you can use it in your slide you can talk to in your coffee lounge meeting email you can make it your business case you can do presentation also you can use infographic and conduct any kind of activity or you can share flyer many of us think persuasive arguments and motivational speaking come naturally the rest of us may try to avoid speeches and presentation fearing that our message won't be well received but this sequence can help you to improve the quality of your message and create a call of action that has real impact it's a straightforward formula for success that's been used time and time again try it for your next presentation and you will no doubt be impressed with the result you as a manager or executive never try to manipulate people otherwise you will fall into the endless bcs 